Jana. If you're new here, I upload two videos a week. They are pop culture and geeky videos, so if you like things like Disney, Star Wars, Marvel, Broadway, and musical theater, then definitely be sure to stick around and hit that subscribe button and also hit the little bell so that you can be notified whenever I upload. Today I want to talk about Disney bounding. I love Disney bounding. It's one of my very favorite things to do, but when a lot of people think of Disney bounding, and if you don't know what it is, I'll get to that in a second, but when a lot of people think of it, they think of doing that in the parks. I don't live anywhere near a park, so it's not really an option for me to just head on over there and do a Disney bound with my friends. But I do find other occasions to Disney bound for. If you don't know what Disney bounding is, it's basically when you take clothing and accessories and kind of give a little nod to your favorite Disney character. Basically, you just pull colors and themes and environments and incorporate them with everyday clothing. So it's not a costume, there are no wigs or any costumey bits to it. It's more about like color blocking. So let's take a character like Mickey Mouse, for example. If you think of Mickey, you think of black, yellow, red. So for a Mickey Disney belt, maybe I would wear a black t-shirt with a red skirt and like a yellow belt. Or let's take a character like Cogsworth. Cogsworth is great for autumn Disney bounds. Just saying, those colors are so autumnal. You could have kind of like a rusty brown dress. Not like a dress that's rusted. Is that even a thing? I don't think so, but not like that. Like a rust colored dress in like a tan purse and like some brown boots. And it would be great if you had a watch necklace. Like one of those ones that flip open and have the little clock in them. Disney bounding is super creative, so even if two people are Disney bounding as the same character, their outfits are probably not gonna look anything alike, which is what makes it so fun. So if you're like me and you don't live near the parks, here are some occasions you could Disney bound for. Number one is going to the movie theater to see a Disney movie. This is a great way to add a little bit of spice to your movie theater experience. My best friend Elise and I actually Disney bounded as Gaston in Belle when we saw the live action Beauty and the Beast, and it was so much fun. There are always new Disney projects and Marvel projects and Star Wars projects coming out, so this is a great way to Disney bound as often as you like. Number two is pretty similar, but it's going to see a stage production. When I saw Aladdin the musical, I Disney bounded as Jasmine, and it was just like a fun little way to get involved. I think it makes you feel a little more connected to the material that you're seeing, and it's just like a fun way to participate and show your creativity. Number three is you could Disney bound in school, especially with some of your friends, you could do a group bound which would be super cool. These aren't costumes, you can pick out things from your closet and put together a really cool Disney bound. The best thing about Disney bounding is that it doesn't have to be expensive, it's not like cosplay. Honestly, if you just go in your closet, find colors and group them together as like colors of a Disney character, you can find so many things. And I feel like it's such a fun thing to do with your friends, like you're going to school, you don't really feel like going to school, this is a way to brighten it up and make it a more fun experience. And it's very subtle, so if you don't want to like scream that you love Disney to the world, it's a very nice way to just have a subtle nod to your geeky side. Especially if you do it with friends, because you can do a group bound and you can rock that school. The next occasion would be to have a Disney bound party. If you and your group of friends are big fans of Disney, and even if you're not big fans of Disney, even if you're the sole big fan of Disney, you could host a Disney bound party. So everyone comes in their best Disney bounds, and then you all vote for which one's the best. But you can't vote for yourself, and it's all in good fun. It's not like a competition, it's more about celebrating everyone's creativity. Like maybe you could have different categories, like best Pixar bound, best Marvel bound, best Disney bound. That way everyone is celebrated for using their creative sides. Another occasion is if you are an athlete or a runner and you're gonna run a marathon, you could do some athletic Disney bounds with your fellow runners. Athletic wear is great because it's colorful and there are so many colors that you can put together to make the best athletic Disney bound. Another idea is if you are on your school student council and you're brainstorming for like a spirit week type thing, what if you had a Disney bound day? That would be so cool. That sounds so fun, even if like not everybody participates. There are so many possibilities. Honestly, you don't even need an occasion. You can just Disney bound whenever you want because it's fun and it's creative. And it makes me so happy when I'm wearing a Disney bound that I am proud of. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. I love reading comments. It's so much fun. And I'll see you next week. I love you all. Stay beautiful, you people. Bye!